it's Laura here. Today I am going to try and dupe the Lilac Yulock palette. So I'm going to start looking for some Lilac colours to dupe the Lilac Yulock palette, which I have been lusting over. But so I've been lusting over this palette thinking oh, I don't have hardly anything like it in my collection and when I started to really look at it I thought maybe I do so I want to have a look and see do I need the Lila Ikki or not palette or not so I'm going to go over to my shelves over here and pull some palettes that have some purpley colours in them so why don't you come with me so you can pull the zodiac Zodiac palette, most definitely. This one's got a few purples in it, so I'll pull it GT for the color. The Rimmel Violet palette, Electroviolet palette. Got the Colourpop, it's my pleasure palette, of course. This is the um, opalescent palette from BH Cosmetics. GTOMFG. It's got a pale kind of lilac in there. I don't know about that one, that might be just more purple. So we'll pull that one and have a look. My Sports Girl Wednesday palette. Mm, I don't think so. I think this one will be too pink. It's not really lilac. Edit one, Possi possibly this one. You might be able to see that from this far away, but possibly, possibly this one. cotton candy palette which I haven't even used yet actually and this this one pretty in pastels looks like it feels nice it's pretty that could be a possibility so I'll pull that one and that's what I've got this one it's got purple in it might be okay the colour pebbles I'm looking for, so no. What about the Aurora Lights? Does it have any nice shimmery pebbles? It does, but I, oh, I don't know that they're the right colour. They're not really lavender, so no. Not that one. What about the BH Cosmetics Rio Edition? Take me back to Brazil. This is one is all shimmers. Possibly that one, but it might be too purple. I'll put that one back. I don't think that one. So 
So I think that that's probably about it. So let's have a look. Sorry, I accidentally turned my camera off. Um, so I actually, while the camera was off, I ended up pulling the Be Way Experience palette because I was having trouble finding that kind of dirty colour and I decided on this one here, so it's this one. So I think. That is the right shade. I believe it's because. I don't know about that. See that, did it? I think I turned it off instead of it. That kind of dirty lilac colour. So the next colour is also a matte and it's it's a very pale pinky lilac. So let's see what I've got. I think this one might be a bit too dark. That one's gonna be too deep. That one that one's too deep. It's the right kind of tone, but it's not the right colour. So Shelf. Let's go back to my shelf and see what else we can find. This one is surprising me because um, in the pan in here it looks really quite dark. It's just the Dream with a Vision palette from Makeup Obsessions. But when I swatch it, I think it's pretty close. So I'm going to say that one. <laughs> It's aspiration from the Dream with the Vision Pillar. Can you use it? And then the next one is a shimmer. And it's kind of a, it's a lilac y purple, but it's got a pinky shift. So I'm looking in here at the moment. This one here, actually. Might be pretty close. That one there. I don't know if you can see the shift as I turn my hand, but I think that's pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna put that one in. I always forget I need to do my swatches the other way so you can actually see them. <laughs> so that's the I Heart Revolution can cotton candy one. And the next one is also a shimmer, and it's a it's a deeper lilac purple. No, that one's that one's too deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's also not shimmery enough. It's pretty though. It would fit in. It would definitely fit in because it's kind of lilac, lilacy, pinky. But I don't think that's the right color. Far off though. Let me try this one. This one might be too pale. Oh, that's a. If I hadn't already chosen the last colour, that would have been good for the last colour as well, I think. Because it's kind of a lilac with a pink shift. That's all matte, so that's not going to work. This already has got mats, so it's going to work. I just tried this one here, but it's basically brown with purple glitter in it. And I just tried that one there, which is not right either. Let's go back to this one. Just like wipe some fingers. I think I might try this one here. Oh, that's a pretty colour. That one there. Oh, can you see it? I always do this one, just run the wrong way. That one there. I think that's pretty close. I'm going to do with that one. This palette was one of those ones that surprised me. Because it works a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm going to go with that one. 
And the next colour is also a... Now this is where I could get into problems. Because this colour and the next colour are very similar. But this one was more pink and the next one in the line is more... Um, lavender -y. so I think this one would probably be all right for that one what does this one look like so I just tried this one here which you can't even see on me but I think it's too much like the other one it's lighter it's lighter than the other one. So there's the other one that's lighter, but it's actually this color. So I think this one is actually more like the one I'm trying to do now. And I need that first one again. So that was out of... How did it go? It was out of this one. So I think this one here is actually more like the color I'm trying to do now. I think that's more like that colour. <laughs> well, you can see it. It's not as sparkly. But I think the, the tone of the colour is more similar. Okay, so we're up to another mat. So I'm going to go into the Zodiac palette because it's got all these beautiful ones here. Oh, but none of those are light enough. Because this one is very pale lilac. Yeah, where did I see a pale lilac? Possibly that one. So I've got kind of a pinky lilac. <laughs> That's um, actually very similar to that color there. They would potion, it's called. That they would suit the one as well. <laughs> Wonder, Paradise might be alright for this second to last color. I will swatch this one, which is from the lightest purple from the Zodiac palette. That's too dark for the colour I'm looking for. So I thought you just might like to see the whole process and how long it takes. You might not either. You might think it's really boring. <laughs> but it's not as quick as what you see. Because I usually know which palettes I'm going to go into and then I just show you what I've come up with. I'm going to swatch this one here, but it's too dark as well. Go into the berry one, no, I can't see anything in there that I want. Oh, maybe, maybe tit and push will be alright. No, that's too pink. Kinfish is too pink. That's from the It's My Pleasure palette. It's too pink for that one. Alright, so none of the palettes in front of me have the colour I want, so I'm going to go back to my shelf. I'll have a look in here first. Hang on, before I do that. I'll have a look in this one. This is a new one. Oh, maybe this one. This one might be it. Let's go up. That one's pretty close. My arm's a bit strange. I think that one's pretty close, so I think I'll go to that one. Doesn't swatch particularly well. <laughs> so I think it's a little bit more, possibly a little bit more cool toned than what is on there, but he can't hardly see my swatches. I'm going to have to work on those. So um, yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Then we will go back to the Zodiac palette and it'll either be this one or this one possibly. Yeah, one of those two. I think I think it's this one. 
I've got two different pictures that I'm looking at. It could be either of those. <laughs> I'm looking at two different pictures and I can't tell which. So I'm going to go with this one. A moment. Okay, I think I found a colour for the very first one. And that's actually in this palette too. And it looks very pink in here. But, and it looks really pink on your finger and chunky. But when you blend it out, I don't know how well this will show on camera. It has a kind of a little bit of a lavender shift to it. So it's there. So it's pinky with a little bit of a lavender shift. So I think that will actually work for that first one. So I've just spent ages swatching a whole lot of colours trying to get that last colour. And I keep wiping the swatches off my hand and I'm running out of time. <laughs> Sorry. So my sleeve keeps wiping them off. So that was the last colour. So, I will have to redo those swatches, but that's what we're looking at. And now I have to go. <laughs> so I'll be back later. <laughs> okay, so I've got my eye patches on because I bought these a while ago. These were the Skin Academy gel eye patches. And I never used them, so I thought this would be a good time to use them and just come on with a little oil cut. Because um, I could do some way I do my eye makeup. I thought it would be a good idea anyway. So here's my palette. So this side here is my closest I could get for a dupe for the lilac you a lot. And then I've got the extra colours that I wanted to add in on the side. And so I'm gonna do a look with this. So I'm going to go in with this coming first, which is from the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. So that's the aubergine color. And I'm going to do, it's like a halo one, but it is a halo one. I'm going to go in with this one here, which was from the Perfusion. Fusion palette. Do blend it up? Top of that. I'm getting fallout all over my face, but that doesn't matter because I'm not being very careful. I'm gonna go in with a few tip and then clean up the middle bit here. I'm gonna go in with some concealer and then we're gonna go back in with that orbiting colour and just tidy up. So that's what we're looking like so far. And then go in with this little one and that was from the Be Ways palette so for me that's that one that was in the middle. Now these ones aren't this one's not a duochrome like it is in the actual palette so I am gonna add something else to it. But I'm gonna put this on first. It's a really pretty colour though. It's great great pigment. That's a really cheap palette. It's be this one and all the colours I've used from this palette have worked really well. It's an all shimmer palette but I brought it so I'd have lots of um, inner highlights and things but um, my eye patch just falling down again. But I've been really impressed with it. I thought it was probably not going to be great and it surprised me in a good way. Yeah. I'm going to go in with my Super Shop shadow in the ring. And I'm going to go over the top of that shadow. And then what I also want to do is I'm going to go in with my Milani Hypnotic Lights Beaming Light. And this is actually a lip topper, but I'm going to use it on my eye. And I want a little brush. Now I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Who would have that? That is exactly what I was looking for. Yep, 
that's what I wanted. I hope that the camera picks it up. Because it's pretty, but I'm not sure if you'll see it. I'm going to go in with another wee brush again. Yeah, I go through so many brushes. Anyone else use a ton of brushes when they're doing the makeup? You know, little wee brush. I'm going to use that very first one. And that is also from the Profusion palette. And it's pink, but it's got a kind of a purpley shift to it. I wonder what the few duo creamy colours I actually have. Because I don't have hardly any of those. Which is one of the reasons why I was so interested in the Violet Q a lot palette. Because it had lots of duo creams in it. That is just like a not so in your face version of the hypnotic lights, don't you think? I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> but that's what it reminds me of, and I love it. It's not very pink, it definitely shows up more purple than pink. So when I, when I swatch it, I don't even know if you can see it very well. Yeah, you can see the pink there, and then it goes quite purple. It's looking a lot more purple than pink, so it probably looks a bit darker than what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Essence one here, which is stuck to my magnet. Um, it's Halo Kiss from the Halo Powder range, and I'm going to put some of that on just to light that up a bit, because it's just a bit dark. Right, and I'll take these eye patches off. Sticky or slimy or anything, they'll soak in really quickly. I don't know that they feel any more hydrated than normal, though. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. And if you're wondering what I do while I'm doing my makeup when I'm not filming, right now, as I do my face makeup, I'm going to be watching YouTube. And the person I am watching today is Helena from Hmm Nothing Makeup. This is her hair. And I'm watching, halfway through, watching her Estee Lauder Swatches Holiday Pop Blaster 2019 kind of thing. So she's busy swatching. So this is what I'm watching. This is what I'm watching while I do this. So I watch make makeup videos while I do my makeup. <laughs> so I'll see you when I finish my bit. So here's where we're at at the moment. And I'm going to go in with my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Berry Fantastic because I want to pick up more of the berry colour than the bright purple just at the moment. And I'll just put that on my bottom lash line. And I'm going to go back into the aubergine colour from the Paulina palette. And just go over that. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm actually going to go into my Classy Cake Cosmetics and I'm going to go into Sandra Bell, which is a highlighter, and it's a bright pink. And I want to put that on the inner corner. And I'm also using that as my highlighter today. So I just need to tight line. Where's my pencil? Here's my HD Smoky Liner from Le Revolution. And... I'm going to put my mascara on and choose a lip and then I'll be back. And there is my finished eye look. So on my lips I used the OXX lip liner pencil. It looks like this. So it's just a very pale lavender shade. And then I topped it with a little bit of the Hypnotic Lights from Milani in Very Light. Same as my eyes. And I put a little bit of the Maybelline Master Drummer Eyelight to eyeliner <laughs> just on the inner rim, just to brighten up the inner rim. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed seeing me go through the process of duping out the palette. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.